I wiped out all, all the quests, uh, all the remaining quests, and I have grinded exceptionally. So we can move on finally. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Petal Bridge. Welcome to spring. Repos will spawn in the northeast section of the map. You'll have to navigate through the rooms without fighting the foes, or it will scare the dog away. Don't fight the foes. And it says northeast. So... So actually, it's gonna be pretty close by. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna be going through this, like, normally, but whatever I do, do not encounter any of the foes. Oh, never mind! Shelter? Okay, nothing happened. We're fine, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Jesus! Their walk pattern is like... Step, step... Uh, okay, their walk pattern is just really funky. Oh, fudge. It's like they're dancing, more or less. Like doing a tango. Yeah, I'd really be dancing with those guys. Okay. As you climb the stairs to your new stratum, the sight of cherry blossoms greet you. And this is really pretty. We've got a door here. Let's put this down real quick. As you stand in awe at the gently falling petals, a voice rings from the sky. Oh, it's this guy. What sort of austerity has Almighty not decreed? You turn towards the voice. A winged demi human is gazing down upon your party. Father Ish and Mother Isha bless the earthbound people with the gift of new life. With this, the demi human spreads its wings and rises into the air. Who and what could that winged creature have been? The whole party feels tense as you invest. Investigate further into the labyrinth. Oh, infection? You search the area and find traces of something buried beneath the tree before you. You vaguely recall a story about something being buried under cherry blossom trees. You sure? Uh oh, of course. You prepare to dig beneath the tree, you sent the malicious presence and take up arms. Oh boy. You look around to see countless scorpions streaming from the brush to surround you. There is no escape from the swarm, you must stand and fight. You defeat the wave of scorpions, but just as you catch your breath, you freeze in horror. Another wave of scorpions. We got this! Ah, but they're really targeting the back row! You defeat the wave of scorpions. Another wave! Shoot! Come on, man, come on. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do some AoE here now. Okay, we're good. You abandon whatever is buried at the trees was in favor of fleeing the area. <laughs> okay, so that's it. It was just a, a crew of scorpions. Okay, this one's a one pacer and ow. Ow. Okay, we gotta step on the pain. Gotta step on the pain, probably, to avoid this guy. 
Oh, thankfully, you don't go all the way. And, uh, oh, there we go. Ducky! Ah! I, uh... Oh, you're blocking uh, some place that I could go. Clearly. Oh, okay. Never mind. I see how I can do this. I see how I can do this. Okay, you come back. I want to be in here. Take some pain. Here, now I'm ahead of you. And I can see what's behind you. Which is a door! As soon as you enter the room, the howl you heard earlier repeats. You don't yet see the source of the sound. A thorough investigation of the room should reveal it. Hmm. Red quartz. That was probably the rare drop of this spot. Ow. Yep, of course it's on the pain square. Of course it's on the pain square. Okay, um, cool. We got found an entrance. To more pain squares. You spot a dog at the end of the hidden area, far evident in its manner. You approach it cautiously, but the dog steps backwards with a whimper. You rack your brains for anything that could ease his nerves. You vaguely recall that the Duke's daughter told you the hound's name. But what was it? Rex? No. You're certain uh, from what you remember, but the dog's name is not Rex, but King. You call the dog's name and his ears perk up. Slowly, carefully, you walk up to him and reach out a hand. The dog licks it eagerly. Your worries are over now that the dog is calm and obedient. You pick him up and walk away. Hooray! We saved him! Infection. In your investigation of the labyrinth, you find pink fruit growing on a branch. You can try picking the vividly colored fruit and eat it, or ignore it and press onward. Eat it. After a pitched argument on who will eat the fruit, Ducky settles the issue uh, unilaterally. Unilaterally? I'm not sure which that word is. Uh, however, in contrast to its lustrous color, the fruit smell and taste is repulsive. Oh my god! My god, my man. Wow, that a, a fruit that practically is to kill him. Whoops. Okay, pretty nice that the floor the stairs to the next floor is like right here. Okay, next floor. Forest of Weeping Fountains. 
Definitely a little bit of pain town here. Oh. Uh, this isn't in an in inspection, but it is an encounter. You look into the dead end to find a horrid, writhing being. Your party freezes. Even Persephone, who had been through Etria, is like something from a nightmare. But this is no dream. You must act quickly. You can flee from the nightmare, or stand your ground and face it head on. This can't possibly be that bad, right? Unbinding your weapons, you each prepare to face the nightmare and vanquish it. Oh, it's these bastards! Uh, of course. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all out. Should kill him in quick succession. I got a hazard eye. Yeah, that was nothing. Normal monsters, but hooray! Looks like we got the Petra, the annoying petrifying uh, flowers here. Oh, uh, there's another. Well, uh, that was fast. Which means there's more than likely more than one stairway up. Whoa, a Kamaitachi? Wind snip. That's what it's called. Oh, infection. A rock lies here on the path, virtually begging to be kicked. You sure? The stone ricochets off a tree, caroms off another, and flies back directly at your forehead. Of course. Ouch. You kick a rock to have it come back to you in your face. But alright. Next floor. Sting that fells the fragile. Mm. Oh, we got our bookmark spot on this floor. That's great. I see a red. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, I see this is how we run through the floors. Gotcha! It, yeah, this is gonna be a series of up and downs, and we have a hidden enemy. But, yeah. Okay, avoid that spot. You have these full squares of petals. Inspection spot. Before you hangs a branch with a fragrant blossom on it. It would be a simple matter to snap the branch and take it. You sure? Bloomwood. You easily take the branch with the flower, but there are more branches you could also reach. I mean... I technically don't want to be greedy, but I kind of want to see what happens. Easily take the branch with the flower, but there are more branches. Three branches. And there we go. Uh, the third branch, we've uh, we kind of killed the the monsters home. Oops. That's why they say don't be too greedy. That's why they tell you not to be greedy. Oh, we got an inspection over here. 
As you travel through the labyrinth, you see a moving shadow at the end of the path. Upon inspection, it seems to be a small, furry animal in the shadow of a large plant. The animal shows no fear of your party, and scampers right up to you with a bright squeal. It's so cute and friendly, you almost want to reach out and pet the furred rodent. I already know what this shit is, don't know! The animal may seem cute, you reason, but looks can be deceiving in the labyrinth. You leave the small animal and its confused chirps behind you as you return to your investigation. Yeah, I'm not having you steal from my bag again. You fooled me one, shame on you. You fooled me twice, shame on me. You fooled me a, a third time, well, I have no idea. Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is the way we need to go. As you walk the vibrant path of flowers, a butterfly flits towards you. The vivacious colors on its wings are oddly alluring. If you reach out, you may be able to catch the butterfly. Do I wish to harm nature? The butterfly nimbly sips through your fingers and continues to dance in the air. You frown and wonder if you could have more luck once it approached you again. No, it's gonna turn me- I have a feeling. I have a grand feeling. This is a hole. If, uh, if I had dashed one space forward to try and reach for that butterfly, it would have lured me into that hole. I don't- want to go down yet. Not yet. We're not done here. So far so good? It's just a dead end? The mysterious butterfly you saw earlier has been caught in a spider's web. Ah. Oh. You can brush away the web and save the butterfly, or simply leave it to its fate. You know, I might as well save it. I didn't- I, I was kind of mean to it before, but I should probably save it. The butterfly flits around your party as if in thanks before it flies out of sight. You couldn't have guessed it, but the butterfly's skills have a mysterious healing power. The party recovered 100 HP and TP. You watch the butterfly go before returning to your exploration of the labyrinth. Good thing I didn't kill it then. So helping the butterfly was actually... Yeah, not trying to capture it the first time was actually... Uh, productive. There we go! And then my goal is straight ahead! No. Talk. As you stroll through the sea of petals, you find a guard standing at the path's end. He hails you in a cheerful voice. It looks like your journey is going smoothly, explorers. You must be symphony. I have something you'll want when exploring the labyrinth. He continues as if probing your reactions. It's indispensable to proceed through the labyrinth, I assure you. That being said, I think 10,000 is a fair price for something so useful. What you, what say you? He looks at you, hopefully. If this item is really as useful as he claims. Yes. And I have enough money, thankfully. He smiles as he stuffs it into his bag. Here you are. I don't know what this key is for, but I'm certain it will help somewhere. This car hands you a small key. Which you put away with the rest of your things. Tree key! Well then, I'll be headed back down, back to town. Good luck to you all. And with that, the guard leaves the area. You decide to return to your investigation of the labyrinth. But thankfully, no visible pumpkins. But there's one right there. Uh -huh. Inspection.
You scan the area to find a large bee's nest dangling from a branch. Well, this doesn't spell any good news. Your mouth waters to think of the honey that must be stored within. Are we really gonna risk our biscuit for honey? You know what, fuck it. Ooh! When you reach towards the bee's nest, you feel a sense of malice, of course! So, Bubs gets some TP recovery, but of course we have to anger the bees. Good enough. It's a bit fancy. For biz. Okay. As you walk amongst the falling petals, you encounter a door and begin to open it. Suddenly, an overpowering voice echoes from above. Earthbound ones, you stand on our lands. For what purpose would you pass this gate? A winged demi-human appears before you, blocking your path. Father Ish and Mother Isha bless the earthbound people with the gift of new life. The winged one looks at you as if in judgment. I have erred. You are not fit in the eyes of Almighty Nuh to use the grail of kings. The path to the heavens will remain closed. Leave this place until the proper time comes. The winged one's voice is firm, and he remains resolute in barring you from passing here. You think back to the phrase you learned at the Duke's palace. Perhaps the winged one before you may relent if you speak it now. Maybe? As agreed, I speak the words of the Overlord by the ancient pact. Lead our return to the heavens. You repeat the words to the dungeon- uh, You repeat the words the Duke's daughter taught you before the winged one. Their meaning remains murky, but the effect they have on the winged one is striking. He gazed at you with a momentary surprise before spreading its wings and rising into the air. You bear the ancient pact. Shall those who descend to Earth return to the heavens? The question does not seem addressed to anyone, and the winged one disappears. You no longer feel anyone else watching you. Their presences have vanished along with his. You are unsure whether to continue investigating or return to Lagarde for now. Well, I can return to Lagarde and they'll probably give me my next mission, but I would like to finish filling out the room I'm in. It is unlikely that the next floor is going to have a series of holes again. But you never know. We have these little random pockets here, so there might be something that drops us, like, way down. Whoa. We are actually high up. You can see the sky. That's cool. Whoa. Wow, okay, yeah, definitely stepping off of these platforms would, uh, lead to our deaths. Oh, and there's a foe in the room. <laughs> Instantly. Peculiar. As you travel the labyrinth, you come across an open area with the sweet-smelling flowers. Their petals sway in the breeze as their pleasant aroma grows stronger. The serene clearing would make a good place to stop and catch your breath. Sure. You are only beginning to enjoy your rest, and of course, there's a monster. Of course. What had seemed an innocent field of flowers is actually a den of floral monsters. You are trapped amidst the horde of fiends. You must draw your weapons and fight. I'm killing this petaloid first. Okay. 
And okay, that's that. Yep. All clear. Not too bad, not too bad. There's a lot of birds, but not too bad. Oh wow, bookmark spot right there. Nice. Right, bookmark achieved. As you step onto the new floor, you turn your attention to a figure that appears before you. Oh. You are the ones who spoke the ancient pact. What destiny do you carry, Earthbound One? The man who speaks to you is now is one of the winged ones but he seems different from the others he is well dressed and has a noble bearing about him the man glares at you for an achingly long time then speaks in harsh tones we of Sarita have waited long to hear those words of an ancient pact but words are not enough if you wish to gain entry to the path to the heavens bring the old bubble without it we do not recognize you as the bearer of the ancient pact. The chief of the winged ones crosses his arms and blocks your path forward. Seems you must return to the duke's palace to inquire after this old bobble. Thank god, because I wanted to go back anyways! Ha! Alright, so fill the rest of the spaces here. This is the door I need to go to, and I can go home! Okay, that's empty. Go ahead and sleep. Save. I really went up three levels since the last save. Okay. Stop by the Duke. Oh, how goes your exploration? You met with the Chief of the Winged Ones. Perhaps he may know the way to the place the Duke's daughter spoke of. Ah, but they blocked your path, I see. So they require some other object in order to grant you access to the forest. Wait here, and I shall fetch Lady Gradriel. Members of Symphony, I thank you for journeying to the Heavenly Keep. From what Minister Dubois tells me, the Winged Ones have barred your path forward. Is this so? This ancient keepsake they refer to, I believe I might know what they desire. I have considered offering it to you as a reward, however. To give it to you now means you must continue searching for a way through the castle. I will part with it, on the condition that you perform a favor with me. New mission! Castle in the Grail. We have made contact with the winged priest who holds the key to assessing the heavenly castle. Negotiate with them and find the Holy Grail. Thank you. I am sorry that I must burden you with the fate of High Lagarde. I must go inform the Duke's daughter of this good news. Thank you very much. I had faith that you would help this land. You will need this then. It is a pendant with the engraving of an ancient sword. Perhaps this is what the Winged Ones meant by proof of the ancient pact. The old bobble. I'm counting on you all. The floating castle and the holy grail. For Hylagard's sake, you must find them. You got it. Okay, and then let me double save after that context. Back to the dungeon we go. I have been going through this. I cannot stop. I am a floor away from completing this stratum. I might as well finish it. Even if it takes me till midnight. There we go. With the old bubble in hand, you move onward to where you met the winged one. Earthbound ones. Have you brought the old bubble? The winged one repeats his familiar request. 
When you produced the old bottle given to you by the Duke's daughter, he seemed surprised. Why, almighty no. They may be the ones we have been waiting for. The clearly excited winged one looks at you in appraisal. It is as the pact said. Tell me, earthbound ones, what are your names? Tell him your name? Mm, I mean, it's only polite. Symphony. I shall remember that name well. I am Kana, son of Father Ish and Mother Isha, and servant to the Almighty Na. With the words of the ancient pact and the old bubble, you may take the road to the skies. Our kind obeys our god and stays in the forest. We do not mingle with earthbound ones. Hear me, Symphony. Though you are earthbound ones, you bear the proper credentials. We are bound by our teaching to direct you to the path leading to the heavens. But think carefully. Do you truly have the resolve? Throw yourself on the sky's mercy. Kanan points to the forest behind him, speaking slowly. It is true. The path to the throne of God lies beyond here. But it is also a gateway to death. A winged beast perches before the, that sacred gate. We call it the Queen of the Skies, after our dread of demon bird who hunts us as prey. If you would head to the castle in the heaven, you must face the Queen of the Skies. Kanan continues as if testing your resolve, though I doubt that those who bear the pact would back down out of fear. With that, Kanan spreads his formidable black wings. Farewell, Symphony. We shall meet again once you've reached the path to the heavens. After these last words, Kanan flies high into the air and disappears into the sky. You can continue ahead, or return to town and resupply. Well, I already resupplied, so off we go! Wrong button. As you investigate the area, you find a strange fruit above you. It would be simpler it would be a simple matter to pick the fruit and eat it if you so choose. Pick it. The moment Kana touches the fruit, it explodes in a forceful blast, of course. Oh god, another instant kill fruit. What the hell? Wait, I took 400 damage, but I'm not dead. How is that possible? Unless. Kanata actually has more than 400 health, so that did not end to kill her. That's crazy. I mean, I know the fruit wouldn't- uh, any event encounter wouldn't actually end to kill your party. It would leave you at 1 HP, but even still. And we got another one right here. Ooh, small crack is invisible. Seems you can up after this side. Sad. Oh well, gotta find it. As you investigate the area, you discover sap dripping from the tree above you. You are somewhat curious as to how it might taste. Sure, as long as it's not poisonous. The tree sap is sweet and very effective at curing your fatigue. Yay, it's good sap. Bubs drank the sap and recovered 30 dp. Unfortunately, you weren't the only ones interested in the sap. Of course, we got another encounter. Jesus Christ. Okay, what are you guys even weak to? Electricity. Ah. So I might want to do this then. It was a bad game for you, ah. It's okay, Deku. How's Etrian going? Well, I've been going for almost six hours, so I I've done some questing first, and then I was doing the Fort Stratum. I am I decided to do the entirety of the Fort Stratum today, so I am actually almost done. For act for right at the boss's door. As you walk amidst the 
falling petals, you hear the beating of wings from somewhere. You look up to see Kanan, chief of the winged ones whom you spoke with at the entrance. He flies down towards you and executes a graceful landing. I see you reached this point safely, members of Symphony. His voice carries sincere respect for your victory of the Labyrinth's hardships. It must have been a challenge for Earthbound Ones to reach this place, but your challenge is far from over. Beyond this point is the Queen of the Sky's lair. Since you have done so well in coming to her domain, I wish to do all I can to help you. Is there anything you would like to know? I will answer anything within my power. Oh, you're actually gonna be nice. Kanan looks at you, awaiting your first question. I should ask- uh, I'm- yeah, more than likely gonna need to ask about all of it. There's no, there's no option that says no question, so we gotta find out what's up. <laughs> yeah, Beans, if I didn't decide to um, actually run through the entirety of the Ford Stratum in this one stream, I would have, uh, I probably would have raided you first again. <laughs> Kanan answers your query in a proud tone of voice. We are whom of which you speak. Almighty Nam made we sons of Father Ish and Mother Isha. We obey Almighty Nam's commands and live in this forest by the sufferings of the voice of God. Kanan holds his head high as he speaks. You doubt you can learn anything concrete. Yes. The voice of God. You ask the chief of the winged ones about the voice of God. He looks up into the sky and gives it some thought before slowly responding. Almighty Na gave birth to us, and his voice dictates the law of our kind. In times past, our leader, meaning myself, heard God's word in the holy place. We were given several commands. This is the oldest of them. Escort those who bear the, the pact to the path to the heavens. You have fulfilled these words. We were also told to carry the injured earthbound ones to the heavens. Why? I cannot say. We did as we were told and carried scores of earthbound ones to the sky. What happened to them? We do not know. We do not ask. We do not enter the castle. Kanan breathes a deep sigh. Okay, so back to a, a prior quest. No, not the prior quest. Uh, back to the, uh, third stratum boss. Um, because it was the, the other, um, exploration team's party member that got injured and then transformed into the boss that we had to fight on the floor. Because the, the labyrinth decided to spit her back out with, quote-unquote, eternal life in a monstrous form. Um, I question you, Mr. Birdman. Did you not see any monsters poop out of the castle by chance? <laughs> you are more curious than ever to know why the they carried humans to the castle in the sky. You consider asking Kanan, but you doubt he will speak any more of the matter. Okay, last question. The Queen of the Skies, you wish to know more about your adversary. Kanan's face takes on a stern cast before he continues. That demon bird suddenly appeared before us, out of the blue heavens. We were preparing to receive the word of our god when it fell upon us merc mercilessly. Many of Savetta fell victim to the foul bird. We were forced to abandon the Holy Land. Ever since, many of our best warriors have given their all to, de to beat it. The result was always the same. Many died, and our ties to the Holy Land were lost. If you defeat it, we can once again commune with our god. Much is resting on your shoulders. The Winged One smiles and continues with his speech. The Queen of the Skies has a beautiful yet deceptive voice. Beware of that in your battle. Which means fighting your head will be effective! 
And also, that would qualify you as a harpy species. After delivering this warning, Connor blesses you and promises to pray for your safety. Okay, all questions have been asked. With no further questions to pose to Kanan, you thank him for the information. Kanan acknowledges your thanks with a nod and points to the door behind him. Our former sacred ground is past this point. The demon bird makes her nest here. Whether or not she could ascend to the castle in the heavens depends on this battle. May Almighty not bless you, Symphony. Kanan slowly rises into the air, looking down after you until he, in he vanishes. The door before you is the entrance to the former holy land of the Winged Ones. You can open it and challenge the Queen of the Sky or head to the guard and prepare. Well, I think I'm gonna have to actually go back to town real quick. At least I have the shortcut open, so... Uh, going up and in and in and that's that's not a that's not a far path to walk through actually. Okay. There we go. Two way. Now now I can go straight next time I come here. Here we go. To the boss. As you enter, an exquisite singing voice pours from within the former holy land. But you are not deceived. As veteran explorers, you can detect the malice in the hall. The monster with the brilliantly colored wings must be the queen of the skies you must defeat. An enemy with power beyond any you have encountered lies before you. Prepare for battle! Alright. Let's begin. Whoa! Now that's a harpy! That is a harpy lady! Whoa! That is actually really pretty, though. So, let's... Okay, so I think... I need to find your arms and your legs. That seems to be the most effective. I doubt I'm faster than you, but... Oh, confusion? Uh, yeah, of course. Again, yeah, I'm not faster than you, but I still successfully stunned you in some way, shape, or form. And the damage I gave you is actually decent. Really decent. Ow. Ow. Oh. Mmm. You blinded me. I would really like it if Kanata's insta-kill would trigger. I would really love it if her insta-kill would trigger. Also, hey, you're past half. You you are past half, so I wonder, what are my chances of being able to insta-kill you? Not... Ooh, ah, ee, ah, ee, ah. Ow. You are still not out of your confusion. That sucks. Okay. I do have nectar on me, so not gonna hurt. Ah, uh, you're bound there. Of course. Ooh, the snipe actually did a lot of damage. You're pretty close to that. Um... Nectar... Ah, no, there goes my healer. Ah, okay, fine. That's... fine. Harpuya. Uh Harpuya? Well, she's clearly 
exactly that, a harpy. I did not get the other drop from her, so I'm not... I don't know what her uh, uh, requirement is, so let me double check real quick. Oh, okay. Her other drop is obtainable by um, defeating her while she's poisoned. Well, that's not too terrible, but I didn't really- I didn't get to poison her, so I'll try again next time. Well done, Symphony. You recognize the voice of the Winged One's Chief Kanan as he appears before you. Is this the power of the Almighty Na? Or was this done by your strength alone? Kanan regards you, impressed, before looking up into the forest and continuing. We have recovered our holy land and are honor bound to grant you access onward. Beyond that door is the path to the heavens. If you would tread it, Continue with care. Kana points the way to the door on the far side of the hall. You may continue deeper into the labyrinth or head back to the guard to prepare. Well, I would like to go in so that I can have the uh, geomagnetic pole. Whoa, it's blue. A blue pole! That's definitely new. Ascend! It is a blue pole up! That's crazy. Whoa! What is this? This is an aircraft! This is like... This is like a space aircraft. What the hell? Heavenly castle, my foot. As you draw near the formidable edifice floating in the heavens, a voice echoes in your mind. Who approaches my stronghold? My sacred and heavenly throne. I, the overlord of the heavens, created this keep. No one may enter without my permission. No one is nearby, and the strong wind roars around you. Yet the mysterious voice goes on. You ponder an appropriate response to the one who calls himself overlord. Uh... The Asian path? You allude to the ancient pact, which seemed to pacify the winged ones. The mysterious voice falls silent for a time before speaking again. The ancient pact. You descend from those who left me and fell to the earth. The voice continues in a scornful, condescending tone. Uh-oh. If you acknowledge your error and wish to return, I shall welcome you with open arms. Enter my stronghold. Shed your transient life and gain the blessings of eternity. The mysterious voice falls silent after this. You wonder whether you should continue down the path or use caution to return to the guard. I want to get over here. Also, wow, okay, these are pretty, uh... We got bats. Ah! Chotto, chotto, mate! I forgot about my party! I uh, yikes. Good thing I have a neck doll. Okay. Everybody get healed. We got, uh, treadmills. Just like the sand dunes of EO uh, 1's uh, fourth stratum. Yeah, we got some uh, treadmill action. Alright, now the question is which way do I want to go to? Because this, okay, that goes that way. 
Oh, Mandrake. Give it your speed. Cry root. Go gel. Uh, I want to go towards this, so I'm gonna want to go this way. Perfect. Right here. Oh, this goes in a circle. Return to town. Awesome. Let's see what you unlock. Yo toll. Arbalist scourge. We have three new items. Stronger, for sure. That's expensive though. Yo- Ah, my god, the- The cost! Why? Also, the hot tree seems like a better thing for the luck, but this- this- Ups the strength and TP. Wow. And then the arbalist. Okay. Yeah, that's something I won't be buying anytime soon. Actually, um, stop by the Duke's place real quick. Oh, this isn't complete yet. So the, so just gaining access and stuff is not the only thing. Mmm. Alright, heard you have discovered the floating castle at last. You have done it. You've proven the ancient legends true. Never thought this old man would see the day. Marvelous work. I'll go to my grave remembering your accomplishments. All you must do now is reach the castle's pinnacle and retrieve the Holy Grail. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I gotta keep going. But... We're gonna save... And we're going to end the stream here. It has been six hours. I will be sure to condense this Thoroughly. Alright. So, thank you to everybody who stopped by. Thank you to Pharaoh and Beans for the raids. I will be ending the, um, I'll be ending the stream here tonight. And, yep, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Thank you all for lurking. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, nee.